everybody, I'm recording an Arachne game because I just fought an Arachne and I thought fighting, playing Arachne would be fun. We're against Chalk, so this is like bad news bears, but it should be okay because I have slow immunity. And, well, the, the, the bad part about it is that Chalk has a ton of attack speed slow and I kind of need attack speed, so we'll see. We'll see. I think, I think it depends on the early game because I could stick to Chalk and that's good. But if you win a tanky star, I'm kind of dead. Um, what's that stupid out of Golden Blade? I'm gonna go Golden Blade. And we're gonna hopefully win the early. I can try to counter ult. I don't know if I wanna go Bracer or Sprint or Frenzy for attack speed. Ooh. Ooh, Frenzy. No, not Frenzy. Let's go. Rochelle. Or Aegis. We go. I'm gonna go Sunder, because if I web him and I Sunder him, he's gonna take all of his health. That's my reasoning and I'm sticking with it. However, because I waited that long, I don't get to do the best thing with Arachne, which is to place webs in at the start of the game, right here. That way when the waves collide, you have some wave clear. You're supposed to do that with like two or three webs, but I did not even, I was not able to do that. Okay, what are you doing? So I have some clear with my my little spoiters. This skin's awesome, by the way. Also with the special emote, it's adorable. I can steal his minis. I'm just gonna do that real quick. I can't really pressure too much. Just a just a tiny bit. Just enough to steal his minis, and that's like it. Uh -oh. Take that. I have to dodge his axe. All right, that was easy. Missed it. We're supposed to be losing hard right now, but we're not. So that's a good sign. I'll take these minis too. I'll take all the minis. Uh oh. No, no! That did a lot of damage. Uh, it's 374, that's fine. Can I afford Golden Blade in that? No, but I can sell this and get it. The core item is coming online. Oh, he didn't even go starter item. He went double jealous. Yikes. I am definitely going to go auto attack build the stone cutting executioner, but I don't know if I want to go a bunch of like lifesteal because he can get brawlers and kind of annihilate me that way. So I'm not sure. Oh, what is going on? Oh, that's just my web. That was weird from that angle. It looked like, I don't know, like something glitching out. Alright, he's taking his blue buff, so I'm gonna go take minis and my blue buff. Unless minis are already down. Got minis, now we'll just go for these. Yeah, Iraqi has a lot of starts you can do on her. You can place a bunch of webs at blue buff and start at blue buff, but if your opponent steals it, that kind of sucks. Uh, you can place all your webs at in the middle to get a good clear. I didn't really do that. I only did that with one web. You can you can place them at red, although that's a lot riskier because they're almost guaranteed to steal it from you then. Also, this is not upgrade thunder, so just throwing it out whenever it's up is pretty good. Oh. Ow. Yeah, I cannot stay. Right. It's down. I can heal a tiny bit, and then we're just going back. I cannot stay. Looks like it went attack speed boots. Defense, that's expected. That's pretty much the meta right now. Ninja Tabby is... Did he just try to teleport? No. Ninja Tabby is meta big time. Just because it gives 25% attack speed. That's so much attack speed. 25% attack speed is way better than uh, 20 power, okay? Like, attack speed... Attack speed... 1% attack speed is better than 1 power. That's just the way I see it. So, I, I, almost on any character, Ninja Tabby's better. 
Like, take a high power item, right? Like, something with, like, 100 power, like, transcends. Imagine if that was 100 attack speed instead. Wouldn't that be a lot better? No? That's all I'm saying. It's a better item. It's a better stat. Okay, he hit my heal. I'm out. I'm not out. Oh, he had his ultimate. That's not good. Oh, I need to get this online, but with him getting that defense early. I used to not be a fan of the Golden Blade start because it just, it's hard, it's hard to get everything online. Hmm. I do think the late game with the upgraded Curse Donk and upgraded Sunder, I'll have a nice little advantage and burst damage over him, so that would be good. I don't know. Oh, I juked that and then walked immediately into it. And I missed the Sunder, as expected. I do not have enough healing. We need anti-heal too. No. Oh, this game's going bad. I should not have died there. I think I'm just desperate for a kill at this point. I'm just trying to get a kill, anything I can on Chalk. Arachne is not one of my best gods. I don't know why. I just fought an Arachne, so I was just like, I really want to play her. I think I think Arachne's like A minus. She's like she's okay. She she really relies on a snowball. Because playing Arachne from behind is the worst. So me getting first blooded is not the best to show Arachne. I don't know why he did that, because he was not in danger of dying. He has a lot of defense. But hey, it seems like he's scared of me. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Like, instead, I could go for his blue buff here, but he's half health. And I'm pretty sure he's going to back. So what if I... I'm playing risky plays to try and get back into this game. Rackley can take Bulgin in extremely fast, even from behind, because of her spiders. Yeah, I think this is the right play. Risky bull demon, but Arachne shreds it. Looks like he stayed anyways. That's good, that's good. That means he can't take bull demon, which is great for another X amount of time. I got some XP and gold. And if I get a kill, I can push and win. Or not push and win, but push and get a star. I'm the type of player that if I'm behind, I'll make riskier and riskier plays just, just to come back because... Like, if I play it safe neck and neck throughout the game, you know, Chalk's probably going to win it. He has everything he needs to win. And he's scared. Oh, he got Nimi and that's not good. Nice. I want Toxic Wave, but I don't know. We are healing with with Bull Demon ever so slightly. The slightest amount of healing ever. Wow, I've got maybe a fourth of tower. This is not going that well. I do think putting points in my three is better because it increases the duration of the slow. Cannot fight him, cannot fight him. That's going to be a Brawlers too. We do not want to go into Lifesteal. If we go into Aussie, we will lose. But it looks like I'm kind of coming back. So that's good. Well. I'm going to go Void, void Shield. I think with Void Shield, Execution, and Stone Cutting, maybe I can shred through Chalk and win late game? I don't know. All I can say is that this game is going badly. But I don't want to give up yet. I wanted to play Arachne. I'm going to play Arachne. Doesn't matter what happens. Alright. He's diving. He's diving. I got upgrade Sunder. Boy. No. 
Why is he doing so much? He does all my health. Alright. Second relic, I'm getting cursed on. I'm doubling down on the increased percent damage and hoping that I can just pop both of them at the same time and shred all of his health. Might as well go room forge at this point. Might as well transition into a meme build that could possibly work. A rune forge would be quite silly. I never thought about that. Why don't people buy a rune shield on Rackney? That's when she nukes you, is right after using a web. Oh, please don't take this, please don't take this. Come on. Come on. I don't want to use my. Oh. Don't teleport back. Don't do it. Okay. Alright. I got one kill. I got 705 XP and 900 gold. 900 gold is the maximum amount you can get for killing somebody, so you can kind of tell how far behind I was. Should I go take Bull Demon again so he can't take it? <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to take Bull Demon so he can't take it and slow the game down. I hate it when people do this against me, so therefore I'm going to do it. Especially because it's the only way I'm... The only way I win right now is if he doesn't take my Phoenix within the next, like, three minutes, so... how fast I can take that. Well, okay. That's great. Alright, we need a back. Alright, Void. I'm going to skip Executioner and go straight into Stone Cutting. So I have some pen and power. And with that, I can lower his protections by 50. And I increase mine by quite a bit with both those items. Okay, that's his thorns. I'm out. Not fighting into his thorns. Nope, not at all. Not even going to consider it. Is that a frostbound? Uh oh. I mean, I have slow immunity, but it's only when I'm chasing him. So, that's not good. What I'll probably have to do is use my webs away and then run through the webs to force him to go through the webs. That's the best way for me to get away. Or just ult out. I hate ulting out, though. Nuke him down! not working. Now we need that to heal. Oh, he's going double defense? Is he going frostbound to guardian? He's going frostbound to the guardian. Alright. Alright, that's not good. I think I'm going to have to go oboe. Pretty sure I'm going to have to go oboe at this rate. Or some sort of extremely high attack speed. I'm like Ikaval? I guess Ikaval could work. But he's probably going to get it, looking at his build already. He's going all the attack speed reduction. That's not what I wanted to do. We do not have anti-heal. His attack speed lowers mine to like zero. Attack speed reduction does stack, for those that don't know. So, Frostbound, double Chalk Rain, Midgardian lowers my attack speed to probably like 0.8. Which is not good. On the bright side, a chin size will annihilate him. On the bright side. Always look to the bright side of life. It's only fair I play Demir versus Arachne, which is a losing matchup for Arachne, so that now I play a losing matchup for Arachne. I mean, I think Arachne loses to Chalk way more than Arachne loses to Ymir, but we'll see. Got that. I still don't want it. I still don't want to fight because I don't have Toxic Blade. We will need a Toxic Blade. The Toxic Blade will counteract his attack speed reduction quite a bit. I don't know if it'll be enough though. Ooh. The nice thing is that Executioner applies before Void Shield and Stone Cutting, so that'll lower his protections by a lot. He still can't take Bull Demon, which is great for me. Considering I'm 1 in 4 and I'm only 1,000 gold mine, that's, that's kind of nice. 
And I need to talk to Blade desperately. That's his, his thorns. Just bait his thorns, get out. Yeah, he has 2400 health and he's not even like done with his build. So chin size. Chin size is a must, but I need my execution first. And well, oh, I have to replace it for boots, I guess. This is fine. I'm just gonna attack it. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good! Yes! Yes, now give me this. <laughs> I'll finally be able to take tower 14 minutes in. There's Thank you, Chuck. I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. 14 minute tower, give me. The good part about that is now he can't take Bulldeem for another three minutes again. And that, I'm pretty sure I'm back in this game, actually. Let's see, let's look at the gold once I take tower. I'm only 400 gold behind, that's like nothing. 400 gold is nothing. However, he has Frostbound Mid Guardian and Double Chalk Rain. So, that's a big yikes for me. Uh, I am I'm kind of want to stand in this Double Rain and see how much he can lower my attack speed. But I think I'll just die if I do that. So, I'll have to, I'll have to look back in the video for how slow I get depending on the situation. Yeah, my attack speed number bottom left. I want you to look at it when he Double Rains me here. Oh, I used my two, what, 0.87 attack speed, yikes, without my steroid. That's pretty low, that's pretty low. Okay, give me, t oh, cat shop while moving. Let's not forget. Oh, okay. Oh, and also upgrade curse stock now. The upgraded curse dog upgrade thunder is going to be our win. I just know it. With with chin size, because it increases the damage of chin size. Chin size is percent health damage. I would love a rune forge, but there's no room in my build for it at all. It's impossible to get it. Now, do I pr prioritize chin size or executioner first? I'm pretty sure executioner is 182 defense. I don't want to pop my, both my relics here. I don't think it's the plan. I'm just gonna box him regularly. All right. Got his thorns. I'm out. I hate having to ult out, but that's the that's the strat here. Let me heal actually. Oh, he threw that early. Smart. He threw that early. All right. We'll just walk back. That's fine. That's fine. Or no, we can recall. How much health do you have now? 2,800? Oh, you're making chin sites look mighty tasty. 5% health. My chin size would be doing almost 150 damage a pop. That's if he had 3,000 health. Ooh, maybe I should get it first. Maybe I should. I'm really tempted. You got Witchblade? He has Witchblade Mid Guardian. He got every single attack speed item reduction he can get. What on earth? He's doing it. I'm pretty. I don't know if he's memeing or if he just does not want me to attack him. If there's any a chance to all in him, this is it. This is it to all in him. There we go. You only have that amount of attack speed reduction when you attack me back. That is a lot of attack speed reduction. It does stack. It does stack, I promise you that. Unless there was a change I am unaware of in the past like year or two. This is the comeback. I don't know if I can take Titan, plus I don't want to. Um, taking Titan from... I don't like to abuse the new Titan, this is all. I like to give them one more fight if I can. It just depends though, because if they, they're playing like Blackthorn and Warriors Busting AMC, I'm not going to do that, but he's playing Chalk, so that's like not an OP god, but he 
The max attack speed reduction is kind of meany, but also kind of scummy. I don't know. I don't even know what to describe it as. It's funny, but also it's horrible for me. It's really horrible for me. Also, I just got my executioner. His build, he's going to get annihilated. Hold on. I just want to see how much damage I do here. I'm going to do so much. I don't have uh, Cursed Donk and... I don't have Sunder and Cursed Donk right now, though. And he did pop... He did pop Thorns, so I don't want to fight him yet. Can I get him? Yes! Oh, I really... Really wanted to get Chin Size online because Chin Size would have been hitting, hitting him for 150 a pop. He had 3,050 health. Frostbound mid guarded Witchblade. I'm not sure if I came back because of his build or just, I think it was just that Bull Demon play, but that game was looking really bad. It was looking really bad, especially the third kill when I dived him in his tower, desperate for a kill. That was wrong in every single possible way. You really don't have to leave a comment about it, okay? I'm sure many of you already did, but I don't care. I came back and won, okay? <laughs> With a max attack speed reduction build. Plus, we're fine that we're in Diamond 2 now. So, pretty cool stuff. That attack speed reduction was nutty. Wow. 0.86 attack speed he lowered to me at before Witchblade. And that was with my attack speed items. Anyways, GG, you guys. Here's the stats if you want to see. And thank you for watching. Uh, if I'm streaming, go ahead and, you know, stop by and leave a hello. And I'll see you guys next time.